If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG Worlds 2020. Thanks so much for joining me today. We are going to be exploring a little bit of the expanded format before Rebel Clash comes out. Um, Colin's build did, was the last regionals that took place. I did go and made day two even though my day two was abysmal. Um, mostly because I was not feeling at my best. But... Um, this deck caught my eye, it's the top 16 Necro Guard list. I really enjoyed playing with Ultra Gross Mouth when it originally came out in Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, the Luster of Downfall attack is really powerful, dealing 170 damage. And you can nullify Ultra Burst, the Ultra Burst ability with both Garbo, Toxin, and Silent Lab. And the inclusion of Lucky Egg in this deck makes a lot of sense. It replenishes your hand. One of the issues with this deck is, of course, consistency. But with the Lucky Eggs, you actually get to recover very nicely off of that. Um, only four Double Dragon Energies. I really like using this deck with um, Trash Lunch as well. With a couple of Trash Lunches and then a few Psychic Energies or even Rainbow Energies. Or Multi Energies, any of those. Well, not Multi energy, sorry. Um, the Unit Energies. The Unit Energies that give Psychic Metal and Lightning. Um, we do have seven left to shut off abilities, our own and also opponents. Uh, Shamans, the Denis and whatnot. We have Juniper, we have teammates, we have Marty as well, we have Anne. And we have Kuzma along with Great Catcher and just a bunch of consistency, including the often um, overlooked bicycle where you draw cards until you have four cards in your hand. It's basically a better custom catcher in a way. Um, you draw an extra card with the bicycle, which is really nice, and it's a great card to draw when you get end to one. Right, so I figured why not do a little bit of expanded, um, there's nothing to play for <coughs> in expand right now as you can see I have a pretty good win streak going um, before this so hopefully we can continue to do that. We seem to be up against aggro based on the previous screen and also the coin, right? So it'll be interesting to see um, my opponent choosing to go second, right? And the best thing here for us would be to find a tool for our Travish. The Mulligan will certainly help. Maybe a little bit. The Mulligan will certainly help. Um, Agro decks do play a bunch of Fabas usually. And there's a tool. Perfect. So the tool basically means we have a chance at preventing the... Um, have a chance of preventing the item lock at least for a little bit, you know, at least for a little bit. Um, so I really want to grab the card. <coughs> I'll go ahead and do this, and then we'll go ahead and pass. Yeah, not too shabby of a start. That mulligan ended up being really nice. Uh, we were going to top deck the energy, so that doesn't really change much. Um, I put plays a chaotic swell on turn one, which means we won't be able to silent lab, but that's okay because we have the card. Computer search, seeing how we already have the thing, um, might be for a field board, might be for a follow, might be for an N, because we did search for the carpenter. We'll see. Yeah, we shall see what happens here. Discarding Stevens and the Valbloom GX. This is like a super. This is so much worse than um, Power Plant or Silent Lab on turn one. For this deck, 
But it's a good counter to this deck in particular, so maybe that's what my opponent was going for. Um, we do see a bridge on turn 1. Interesting to see my opponent discard a Steven, that indicates uh, strength from his hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Wolfet, right? Because Wolfet, once it's active, will be able to shut off as well. Um, abilities, and now we're just really looking for the double dragon here. We are simply looking for the double dragon. Hopefully, we can draw one. We do, in fact, find one, which is really, really awesome. So, I'm not super scared about what my opponent will do offensively. Um, maybe this lucky egg was a little too eager. I'm just gonna go ahead and lost turf downfall. I wish this was Trevnor and I could take away my opponent's hand. Not quite the case though. Not quite the case. Alright. So we are going to see an evolution of Vileplume. I wonder what my opponent's hand looks like. Yep, there's the Fava. There is the Fava. I can't believe he just raw has the Fava. Um, it's not the end of the world yet, right? It's not the end of the world yet. Uh, this is actually really nice. That's an insane top deck, in fact, because, well, is it though? Is it really? Maybe it's not so much. Okay, I'm gonna just do this for now. This does let me attack. I'm gonna keep the Guzma for when I actually need it. So far, I don't need it, need it, you know? I don't really, really need it. Don't know what my opponent has in his hand. Another Fava would be super annoying. We do see a Guzma. And that's fine. Alright. So, I do like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead after this guy. And Lost of Downfall. I do get three prize cards. No more threat of the um, basic preventing Wild Bloom. Right, so a very defensive move. I really just, I don't know what else he has, but I don't agree with the tournament discard of that Stevens. I think that's where my opponent just made it super hard for him to win. And we might be in a good spot here. Syndicate lane, discarding another Stevens. For the Fava back. Uh, so that's a problem. That is potentially a problem here. Is what well what does he actually get rid of though? <laughs> All three lucky eggs. So what does my opponent get rid of here? With the Fala. Is it the double dragon or is it the stadium? Can't be both, right? Can't be both. Probably will be the energy. So once that happens, we'll just go Juniper. I guess that's his debate as well. What to get rid of. Fabam on the stadium. All right, perfect. I am happy with that. So we just play our stadium and we lost our downfall for the win. So what would be on paper a bad matchup Right, uh, the sheer speed of this deck and the fact that you can give yourself items for a little bit um, ends up being pretty devastating. The Guzma top deck was also pretty nice. Um, this deck having two copies of the supporters though is really good because that means um, you're a little bit better off under item lock, right? Only a little bit better off under item lock. So. Um, we're getting a bunch of points here, which do not help me in any way. Do not help me in any way. So let's look for another match. Let's look for another match. All right. So 
We do lose the coin flip. I want to choose that Ico first, yet again. And now this hand is very sad. <laughs> A lot of recovery and zero, zero draw. A lot of recovery and zero draw. All right. Still with the yikes, with the nothing. There's a welder. We can't get KO this turn, not by this Vulcanian. But we could just end up losing next turn if we don't top deck a Pokemon. That would be a very sad way to lose our streak, honestly. A very, very sad way. So there's a flare starter for a bunch, a bunch of energies. And yep, that's gonna be it. Alright. <laughs> very nice game. Very sad way to lose our streak like that, but oh well. All right. I do get to start the Wob, which is nice. I have a decent dish start. But I keep just starting with these rescue stretchers. Oh my god. What is this deck's problem? Why do I keep starting with the rescue stretchers? going on for my opponent. No station ability, that's nice, right? That's always nice. Cobalion, not a big deal. Like, why would you bench that? I don't even know what you're up against. I don't know. Alright. So, let's go ahead and Trainer's Mail first. Um, I mean, the end is nice, but it's not great. Because I don't want to give my opponent a better hand. So, the treasure seems better. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's treasure away the card for a Necrozma. And then, let's, and my opponent just decides to not even try. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess we'll find hopefully a better game. I don't know if my opponent just immediately comes in there, but we'll take it. We will take it. Okay, hopefully we can get a good game to showcase the deck. The deck's power, like the first game we had. I guess if there's little reason to be playing online, there's even less reason to be doing so in Expanded. And that might explain the delay in finding opponents, but here we are. Grey Gaming. Hmm, not sure what oh, we are up against. We do win the coin flip. I feel like going second with attack is correct, that way you can immediately start attacking. Not 100% sure, but it feels that way. It feels that way. Alright. Alright, we also get to play a supporter, which is nice. Which is nice. There's a Delmice and there's a Marsh Shadow GX and Metal Energy, so 
some sort of Marshadow copying Sation's attack, or like in Marshadow box, there's a Sation. I don't understand why you would choose to, like, with Choice Band and Delmines, you already can knock things out, so I don't particularly understand that logic. Um, okay, Time Lab is one of the cards that we are missing here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, attach a Lucky Egg, and then we're going to go ahead and Marnie instead of M, just because I'm not, I have zero chance of looking at those cards again. And this is just a beautiful hand to get. You know, honestly, this is a beautiful hand to draw. All I'm missing, like if this had been a Trubbish, then it would have been a perfect hand. We do get two prizes immediately, right? Immediately, and a Via Seeker and a Double Dragon, so we're pretty much set. <coughs> I'd be very surprised if I end up losing this game after turn one, right? Which speaks volumes of this deck's power and this deck's um, potential. Yeah, and this deck's potential. Alright, so I do lose my Lucky Egg, that's okay, because I'm definitely not losing my Ultra Prisma this turn. Well, definitely it's a strong word, I guess. Unlikely. I do have another sign lab, which is fine. That allows me to continue to attack. Uh, overclock. Draw cards, since I have six cards. Okay, so pretty nice hand for my opponent. Pretty nice hand. I will continue with the energy removal, however. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the Marty. That way I save a Via Seeker. Pretty powerful these Marnies. Okay, and I do find a Trubbish and the Lucky Egg. Both fantastic, fantastic cards. And Luster of Downfall. 10 short of the knockouts. This is where a Choice Band or even Fighting Field Belt could be. Could be something to consider, but. No complaints here, no, absolutely no complaints. We are just finding our stadiums. That's basically all we need. That is basically, basically all we need. All right. All right, you see a quick ball, bronzer. I mean, I guess Marshadow copying Timeless GX for a knockout on Turbo Dark would just be immediate an immediate win. Having both Metal Saucers and Bronzong seems a little like a big stretch to me. Um, I'll just keep using Marnie, because why not? And then all I need is that Kuzma to win after I knock this guy out, which is pretty nice. Um, no abilities for my opponent either, right? No abilities for my opponent, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm probably losing this guy, so I might as well maximize my draw. Right. And maximize the chances of simply finding Guzma to win the game. Stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> That's the third game in a row I've seen double stretcher. Like, what? What are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances that that happens just like that? Alright. So... Like, I'm not really worried. At this point, could see a Guzma or a Field Blower, right? Field Blower with this Dowsing Machine probably makes a lot of sense. It ends up being a Via Seeker though. Neither of the options I thought my phone would go for. Field Blower. Yeah, I don't know. I like having the option to Trash Launch. Wait, what? So my opponent went for Dazzle Machine for a Via Seeker and then chose not to play it? What? Alright, so we can't win this turn, we did not hit a Kuzma. 
who did not hit a crucible here. So, I mean, the deck is very insistent that I use this stretcher, so I might as well go for it, right? Might as well go for it, and I'll take these two, and then I'm gonna do this for... Oh! Does this bring... Oh, yeah! I didn't realize that this... I completely forgot I had that in the deck. <laughs> I really completely forgot I had that in the deck. So, GG! Yeah, very straightforward deck, very nice, very clean wins. Um, I do feel like the deck would benefit from having the option to trash a lunch at some point. Right? I don't feel like it would be that big of an investment to just have one energy and one trash challenge card that you can teammates for. Okay, so why don't we try and figure out what we could change for that. Um, the list does feel pretty optimal but I, I i don't know the bicycles those could be could be a little questionable um like definitely the two bicycles one could simply become a trainer's mail right and then i like doing this and then just having the garbiter right the trash challenge garbiter and the unit energy just as an option. Well, actually, a basic psychic seems way better because less chance of it being removed. I think I like that. I think that makes sense. Um, just to have as an option for a backup attack, like out of the blue, your opponent might not expect it, and then boom, right? So then it's another thing they have to be worried about. But yeah, that will be all for today. Um, sorry, I haven't been streaming. I just I haven't felt like it, honestly. Um, this whole world situation thing has been pretty unmotivating for me uh, but i'm gonna try to at least have a daily video of tcg on the channel and we'll see where it goes from there i'm excited for rebel clash though i'm really looking forward to um to playing with the cards of rebel clash which does come out in around two weeks time a little bit over two weeks so hopefully um i get to stream a bunch of that then may is also my birthday so try and make sure that may is a big month for Tailbone and all the Tailbone followers. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.